Now we're going to boxing after her last fight against Mexican Yemilef Mercado, three time world boxing council women's super bantamweight champion Fatuma Zarika decided to down her gloves. Her efforts for a rematch were further dealt a blow with COVID 19 pandemic, prompting her to seek a temporary job as a gym instructor in Dubai. She announced her comeback in the sporting arena last year in featherweight bout in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. <laughs> wakaniambia pana bado eh, unafaa ucheze at least hata kama ni mwaka mmoja sisi tutakusimamia vitu kama hizo her boxing career was one of a roller coaster but through determination and her work ethic she vowed to push forward winning major honors including world boxing title and defending it three times but what exactly led to the downing of her gloves after losing WBC to Mexican Yemalek Marcado before changing her mind to return to the boxing arena Kwa boxing nimekuwa kwa muda mrefu. Wacha niseme hii ndio mwaka yangu ya 20 years bado kwa boxing. So nilikuwa naona ya kwamba maybe maybe nikienda retire itakuwa poa sababu pia mimi nimeweza kuserve wananchi vya kutosha. Her efforts for rematch against Marcado were dealt a blow when COVID-19 pandemic struck. She moved to Dubai where she works as a gym instructor, prompting her unceremonious exit to the world of boxing. But before she calls it quit in the boxing arena, Zarika believes that she still has a number of scores to settle. I was in WBC for four years. I was in the WBC for four years. I was in the WBC for four years. I was So, I was in the WBC for four years. Nichukue tu hiyo WBC na bado ni retire. Hiyo ndio kitu yenye mambo ilikuwa kwa akili yangu. So, wakijaribu kufanya hivyo, I think hiyo itakuwa poa sana. Last year the Iron Fist Lady made a major comeback to the sporting world when she knocked out Patient Mastara in a featherweight fight in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. But it took almost one month to convince her to reconsider her early retirement decision. <laughs> Citing from her own experience, Fatuma Zarika hopes to leave a firm legacy that will transform boxing in Kenya. Tunataka at least tuone tuone maboksa wengine wenye ambapo wanakuja wenye ambapo wataendelesha hiyo career bado na wata em mali ambapo maybe zaidi yangu mimi. Hiyo ndio kitu ambapo naomba na ni kitu ambapo niko sure kama Mwenyezi Mungu akitupa uhai hiyo ndio itakuwa. She emphasized the need for hard work and persistence as a key principle in boxing, stressing the importance of taking care of one's mental health, especially at a time when the world is experiencing upsurge in depression-related issues in sports fraternity. Pressure iko kila side yote. Kwanza wakati ambapo uko active na unacheza ya kwamba uko na game kila saa kila dakika unaona. Hiyo ni lazima ukuwe na pressure. Juu pressure inatoka side yote. Pressure inatoka kwa wale watu wenye ambao wamekusimamia. Hautaki kuleta watu wako down. Pressure inatoka kwa mashabiki wako pia. Autaki kuletu mashabiki wako down. Pressure bado iko kwa familia. Unaona kila mtu wanakuangalia. Dunia mzima inakuangalia. Sio wewe peke yako. But when the dust settles, she hopes to open her own training facilities to coach upcoming boxers as well as advocate for their rights. Auma Evans, KTV.